we're in desperate time in Nigeria and desperate measures are required to stem the tide, especially the issue of Naira scarcity. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Miller, said the lower legislative chamber is considering emergency session before the president, before presidential and national assembly election over Naira crisis. If the central bank of Nigeria, CBN, failed to address the hardship Nigerians are facing over currency swap. Meanwhile, deposit money banks have denied allegations of Naira hoarding. The commercial banks clarified that more than 100 billion Naira have been invested in technology to ensure customers enjoy seamless transactions. How true is this claim? Jide, that is a lie. Friday, I was in Abuja on Friday, mm. and throughout Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I couldn't effect any transaction. That's a lie. At least we are not seeing the result yet. Even if they made the uh, One billion naira, they said, we yes. cannot see, we, we can't see the... You, you know that this whole thing, uh, we're talking about this cashless thing. When 20 people were doing um, online banking mm. or um, what was it called mm, just before online. now, mm. and suddenly 80 people entered the same platform, you crash. trying to use the same services. The, the, and the infrastructure is not big enough to accommodate. Kind of that is a jump. It's not a, a, it's that's not nothing else it's that not you can... 22. No other word that you can use to... It's from a jump. To if you move from 20 to 80, it's a jump. Hmm. And to be able to accommodate that jump, you need... You to need, prepare for it. You need to have prepared for it. You can't just wake up one day and say, ah, we go cashless. I mean, hmm. this cashless thing... One economist was telling me that uh, there's nowhere in the world where it's a sin for people to carry cash now. Why are you trying to make it look like it's, it's such a bad thing to carry cash? Now I sent that they should go and look for Naira for me. They came back with 2,000. What am I going to do with 2,000? <laughs> I mean, this is rubbish now. 2,000 Naira? To do what? Yeah, he said this. You can't fill your tank. He said the, you can't, what are you with 2, he said the POS guy he said he has only 2,000. This is not fiction. <laughs> God is my witness. <laughs> now, if do you know how many other people, how many people do not even have the privilege? I pity all those policemen, uh, last man men who greet us by the rosa, who mm. salute us mm. because they can get uh, a few okay, uh, words, words of naira notes. Yes, they too know now that grand no level because once you get to where they are. Yes, and they flash that familiar smile. Yes. Yeah, okay. You know that, you know look, you know. this thing not going to work this time. Mm -hmm. You know, you give me your best smile and we not part with what I have. I have only, I have only, notes. I have only, only <laughs> see, I, this is the only thing I have. Is this 500 Naira looking like old 200 Naira? That's what I have left. Looking battered. Look at it. Just this is what I have left. Now, there is no amount of smile that the policeman can flash at me <laughs> at a road intersection that like will make me part, part with this. <laughs> because I need it as much as he needs it. And I'm keeping it where it's not likely to fall off. <laughs> it's so bad. These people like, people like <laughs> Mayfield, they have access to tons of this. They don't know what we feel. And the rest of them who are playing politics with it, I wish they can just put themselves in our shoes. In our shoes. We ran a story yesterday, the ordinary man, see the way they are complaining. You cannot claim that all these people don't know what they are saying. You can't politicize the suffering of the masses. You can't. We all have someone that we will answer to one day. You can't politicize the sufferings of our people. You say, oh, it's because people want to read. It's what, I mean, what is all That's this? So... Why? What, why are we doing this to ourselves? Three banks, three banks today. One of my uh, younger ones went to three banks. They were all short. Banks now, if no they, they shut the door to you, so uh, how, how can you then find money? That means you can't use their ATM. You cannot even take money across the, across the counter. The same man who said, oh, that uh, they must not pay across the counter. You want the money to circulate. Yet you stop people from mm. taking it across the, mm. the counter. You want everybody to go to ATM. 
How many ATM points are there in our country? You didn't factor all of that. Later on, you came back. You said, okay, let them take, to, you, you can pay 20,000 to people. If you pay 20,000 to a family man like me, you can be sure that by the next day, I'm coming back. I mean, people in, in authority, the they should be able to reason. Because if kind of what is 2,000 yeah. Naira in today's Nigeria, that 2,000 Naira in no time is gone. You'll be back in the banking hall. That's why the banking halls are clogged. And people are losing patience. Some of them are destroying the banks. They are fighting. So, but everything we've been told, oh, is this the banks have money, it's just that they are not giving. If bank MDs are not complicit in what we are doing, some of them in, in what the suffering we are going through, they should be able to come out to say, no, this is how much we are given. Yeah. What we are given cannot be enough and all that. They should not, they should not be afraid to say that. In terms of circulation and everything, Naira is not like it's not like looking for a dollar, it's not like up for sale. It's easier to get dollars than to get in a and, and the danger that I'm looking at, today is Monday, it's in, on the 10th is Thursday, every Friday. What will happen the day after is what I'm afraid of as an analyst. Because you are looking at people still holding to the old money. POS guys are still disbursing. Yes. The old money. And we have less than 72 hours. So the Everywhere people are using the old money. So what I'm telling you is that on the, on the morning of Saturday, Somebody will go with the old money, somebody will refuse, and somebody will be dealt with. Mm. That's where we are going. Mm. And the man they will deal with is not the one that is guilty. It's just a POS man trying to make a living. Mm. But the people are the big men, because when they say this is cashless, I laugh. You are simply punishing people. Because 60% of our economy is in the former sector. People mm. who made 2,000 naira a day, mm. 3,000 naira mm. a day. Mm. Where are we really going to get POS and pay 1,000 or 5,000? Yeah, I know where I'm going. Mm. That means the entire profit is gone to the POS operator. We are, we are sitting on a keg of uh, gunpowder mm. and we are playing politics with it. And I told somebody on radio this one, I said, look, if you are not Yoruba, go and listen to the proverb of the 30s in law. People will blame the 30s on the way out. But they will decide on the in law on the way back. If people think they are blocking somebody, from using this advantage in the election. But that's how our people start descending on the assets of these people. Or the innocents. <laughs> people that will start with the How many innocent people lost their property during the uh, election? Do, 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 even do, in our little, yeah, even our little estate, uh, mm. they will give it alarm now. People should not be allowed to come in without showing proof that they are coming to see somebody. Because I, I foresee, God forbid, the next few days, this will go God out of control. The rest is, okay. Uh, it's 18 days to the next general election, and I still have Babajide Kolade Otitoju and GKB in the studio. Ultimately, the way the things are going, Nigerians are getting impatient, and they're getting that's, frustrated. That's why, uh, because this is aggravated in Lagos, at least. The more in Lagos with the fuel scarcity. But that started in Ibadan, don't forget. Biting everywhere. No, Ibadan, they've not even been attacking so banks. attacking banks. You know, and... Um, the House of Rest Speaker said, well, if this thing continues, they will be forced to um, end their recess and uh, call an emergency session. So they'll take a start. I think as patriots, that's what they should do. Um, the CBN, go, CBN has autonomy, but it does not mean that it's above the law. It's not above the law. And we, we, may we never find ourselves in a situation in which an individual will be bigger than the state. To the point that you cannot even get him to think rationally. I don't think it makes sense to find ourselves in that kind of situation because people are already dying now. And I feel they've continued you know? printing another picture to the president. Because if Mephile will keep telling the president that all is well, all is well, we're on top no, of No, that's it. why he's been blaming the banks. That's why he's been accusing the banks. Where John Chuku, yeah, Johnson Chuku was on our show uh, on Friday, and he was saying that he does not know where the president got the information that the banks had all the money, but they are not disbursing. Mm. He does not believe. He said, okay, maybe the banks, maybe uh, CBN said it has tracked the money. So if the banks have so much and yes. you have tracked it, what are you doing? So it goes beyond audit. It goes beyond. No, you see, I've also, I also said in a season of plenty, you will bring your own out now. You bring your own out. 
It's just like fuel scarcity. Maybe they told us that, they, 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 that there was enough fuel. Why are we then in scarcity? Mm. Anyone who tells you that, oh, there is enough fuel, yeah. and there is scarcity, is a liar. It's a practice liar. And the resetting of committees. So this is the thing. The if there is enough, say, if you look at the suggestion that Erufai made, for example, Governor Erufai, he said, in those remote communities, let's come together. Let's arrange. We can move. Obi, uh, what was it called? Uh, um, Bullion van. van. Take to some communities, ask people to bring their currencies. Yeah. And Change then, it. yes, work with governments. You are not interest. doing that. You are not doing If you have enough, put them community to community. You go, change this thing remove for these people. Remove the middleman. Change this thing for these people. Mm -hmm. These farmers, they can't come out of their communities. Some of them are even scared. Some banks are like 100 kilometers away. Yeah. They will be scared that they could be robbed on the way. So some of them can to even get out of their communities. For 2009. Yes, so this is the thing. If you have enough, are ready to move money to those places. Well, this seems to be a boom time for the POS operators and everything. No, uh, they go through the same stress that we go through. Uh, but they... I know, they no, they now, been, now they it is charging 2,000 for 10,000 new notes. 1,005 for old notes. But if you are a regular customer, they can still do it for 1,000. But some of those... They, they but but they, most have, of them don't have cash. They don't have two. They don't have they cash. They don't have two. Some are even saying, look, now I, I can't find money to do this business. Yeah. They don't have to. They Actually, don't have. they don't have. But the problem with us is a few people have, and we make it look like, oh, everybody has. No, that's not the thing. We cannot say, okay, because some banks are guilty of hoarding, oh, every bank is hoarding. No. Mm. There are banks who will be ready to disburse this thing if it is available in, the, in, uh, 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 in, in such uh, huge... Uh, this, uh, yes. Mm. I want to thank you. Thank you for your contribution yeah. and the measure himself. Papa did the call the When is accounting that started? This week, in the course <laughs> of this week. This is that. We're already, we are ready maybe Wednesday or something. Okay. Yeah.